In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to work with drill down operations on charts. So we have a page here. We're going to start by taking a pie chart and dropping it on the page. And we're going to hook this chart into our department object. In department, we're going to show the total salary for the various employees and the name of the department. So you can also see that the primary key is the ID of the department that we're fetching. So this gives us this little chart that shows us the breakdown in each um, department of the total salaries there. Next thing we can do is we can define an event on the chart called the selection event. And when these events happen, we get an input, which is our selection. And we can start by just firing out a notification to show what we actually get here. So we're going to show you the item that we're getting in the selection. I'm going to put it also here. Um, and for now, we'll just do a transient information type of message. All right, so let's go back to the page. We'll switch to live mode. And when we click on the uh, department, we can see that nothing actually happens. Uh, and there's a reason for this. There's one more thing you need to do. It's in the properties of the chart, look up the selection and make sure that you enable selection. In this case, we're going to do a single selection. Okay. So now if we're in live mode, we can click and we can see, we get the ID of the department. So if we click here, we get department four, for example. So this is great. We have now the operation of actually clicking and getting the value. Next thing is we want to create something in our page, for example, to show the list of employees in that department. So let's pick up a table component and drag it to be below the chart. We can hook this one to the employees. We want to show for each employee the name of the employee and their salary. We can also show the department that they are working in. And we'll click Finish for now. All right, so right now we're seeing all the employees and which department they are in. Okay. What we want to do next is to filter this based on the value that is selected here. So to do that, we're going to create a new variable. We'll call this one selected depth. Can use it as a number. And the next thing we're going to do is in the action that we have over here, what we're going to do is we're going to assign a value into this variable. Okay. So the value is the value that we're getting here in the selection. Okay. We're just assigning it directly over here like that. So we don't need a notification anymore. We can remove this one. We have our variable assignment over here. And the next thing we will want to do is um, filter our table. So again, our table, if we look at it, it's based on data coming from this uh, service data provider. Okay. And we can go over to the service data provider for employee and define a filter on it. The filter would basically check if the department is equal to the value that we have in the depth variable that we defined. Right, so that should be it. We go back to our page, switch into live mode, and start to click on department uh, marketing, and we can see the marketing employees. We'll click on sales. We can see the people working in sales, and similarly, IT.